This presentation is to accompany the book, Consumer Behavior, A Primer, by Gail Tom. How long and how frequently we will perform a behavior and with what speed depends upon the consequence of the behavior. In operant conditioning, the predictability of the consequences of behavior is termed schedules of reinforcement. With a fixed ratio schedule, you know that the consequence will occur after you have performed the behavior a predictable number of times. Piecework provides a fixed ratio reinforcement schedule. You are paid for each piece you complete. This is another example of fixed ratio reinforcement schedule. You receive payment for each bushel you pick. The higher your output, the greater your pay. Fixed ratio schedules of reinforcement results in high productivity. Frequent Purchasers Reward Cards is a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement. The consumer knows that after they have purchased a number of products, she will then receive a reward. With a fixed interval schedule, you know when the consequence will occur. For example, a salaried employee knows he will receive a paycheck every month. This is a fixed interval schedule of reinforcement. A salaried employee knows when he will receive payment. A fixed interval schedule of reinforcement will likely provide a level of performance that will meet the minimum. Workers have no incentive to work any harder since working beyond the minimum doesn't result in more pay. Consumers know that Black Friday comes after Thanksgiving and products are at bargain prices. Consumers will camp out for hours, even days, to take advantage of the Black Friday deals. With a variable ratio schedule of reinforcement, you don't know when the consequence will occur. You only know that the reinforcement will occur, on average, after you have performed the behavior a number of times. In gambling, you put money in the slot machines, or place bets in card games, or put chips on a number in roulette in the hopes of a win. But of course, you don't know if you will win. So you keep gambling because you know that on average, you will win about 20% of the time, and one of the wins may be a jackpot. Variable ratio schedules result in behaviors that persist. With cold calling, the more people a salesperson calls, the greater the chance that one of those people will accept the salesperson's offer. For example, a salesperson finds that on average, two out of 100 people called will be a good sales lead. So the more cold calls she makes, the more successful leads she will have. Commission sales is a variable ratio schedule. Your chance of making a sale increases the more you try. The more sales calls you make, the greater one of the calls will be a sale. With a variable interval schedule of reinforcement, you don't know when the consequence will occur. You only know that the reinforcement will occur at approximate time intervals. Consumers don't know exactly how long they have to wait for a ride from the airport to their hotel, but they know a shuttle will come about every 15 minutes on average. Students may figure out that there is a pop quiz about once a week. Sometimes they have two pop quizzes in one week. Other times they don't have any pop quizzes for a couple of weeks. But on average, it's a pop quiz a week. Pop quizzes are effective in increasing class attendance and increasing class preparedness because students don't know when they will have a pop quiz. People check their email or log on to Facebook, sometimes with more frequency than they want or should. It's because they never know when they will discover something interesting, fun, or entertaining. So they check a few times a day. Here are more examples of schedules of reinforcement in operant conditioning.